this goes well as next project is going to be an SR-71. And if we can get a coping saw that will handle the small pieces of titanium. It. So gun turret is the sea turret from the German battleship Gneisenau. Uh, when the German Navy was done away with, they moved the thing to uh, Norway to uh, build it into a mountainside to guard Trondheim. And underneath the, the concrete support, there's just a flat rock. They just skinned the top of the mountain off and then excavated down through the solid rock wow. to get the interior so the gun would fit. And uh, I, I, my printer didn't work so I couldn't print off what I found out about it, but the last time the guns were fired was in 1953. Wow. Really? And then in 1968, the uh, fortress that this is part of was deactivated and then in, in the early 1990s, they decided to turn it into a park. And so uh, when you look at the pictures inside, it looks brand new. Because there was, you know, it was well cared for after they deactivated it. But uh, the, the only problems I'm having with it is trying to get that concrete base painted. It came in two pieces, and it's, I've been spending about two weeks trying to get rid of the joint. Although I'm absolutely convinced that if you were a little better at uh, truing up the edges and gluing it together, there wouldn't be a joint. Because there are a couple places there where I didn't have to do anything. It just, it just fit together perfectly. So, who's, and can I interrupt? Whose kit is this? It's from uh, Bottle Collect. It's a Chinese company. Oh. And the interesting thing about the guns is that uh, you get two sprues with two guns each. So I have an extra gun. Uh, I don't know whether that has any value or not, but... Uh, <laughs> this mark had 15 inch guns. What did the knives now have? Uh, 11 inch. They're 28 centimeter guns, About so they're 20. 11 inch guns. They're the uh, K5 railway guns, same, same weapon. And then the book, I read a review of that book and it said all kinds of wonderful things about how it's the great book of the T-34-85 after World War II and it's going to tell you everything you want to know about it and it's got color drawings and pictures and if you want to make a post-war T-34-85 just paint the damn thing green and then put a three-digit number on the turret and you've got everybody. Can you spin that around for me? Because there, there are very few tanks that have any markings other than a number. Right. Some so. of them have uh, a little brown with their green, so you can stripe a little brown on. But the interesting thing about the book was it does list all the countries that had them and how many they had. Uh, and some of those uh, communist countries had an awful lot of T-34-85s. And they used them up until the 1970s or 1980s before they finally retired them all. And it says that in Bulgaria they took the turrets off and put them on uh, fixed fortifications aimed at Turkey. Uh, so apparently the Bulgarians and the Turks don't get along. That goes back a long way. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, there's, a, there's one in there that I'm going to have to build a model of. It's an Austrian T-34-85. The Austrians inherited the uh, 20 some odd of them when the Russians left in 47. <clears throat> and it's just, it, it's a little different than the other ones because it has a three digit number on the turret and the uh, Austrian uh, rondel from the Air Force in front of it. So it's a, a white triangle inside a red circle. But like I say, I, I had great hopes for that for lots of colored pictures and it's got lots of colored drawings, but. Paint it green, put a three-digit number on the turret, <laughs> tell everybody it's whatever you think you want it to be. I got a book one time on the T6, which was supposed to be the be-all and end-all T6 info. Uh -huh. It's probably eight or nine pages devoted to the combat career of the T6. <laughs> but it is, it is kind of an interesting book. I, I didn't enjoy it for the number of color renderings, but the uh, text on where they were used is kind of interesting. So who's, who's the publisher on that? Mushroom Model Products. Wow. Uh, they come that. from Poland. They gave us some nice drawings. 
Uh, you can get them from Amazon. All right. All right. Thank you.